The 1920s saw the realisation of Glamorgan's dream of first-class status. Enough fixtures were secured to allow the MCC to endorse Glamorgan's application, and their inaugural county championship match took place at the Arms Park in May 1921 against Sussex. It proved to be a fairy tale start as Norman Riches led Glamorgan to a 24 run victory, much to the delight of their faithful band of supporters. Later that summer, Billy Spiller, who was a policeman in Cardiff, scored the club's first hundred. But only one other victory occurred in 1921 as the dream turned into something of a nightmare. The homegrown stars tried their best. These included Johnny Clay, a tall spin bowler from Chepstow, but defeat followed defeat as Glamorgan languished at the bottom of the county table. One of the problems was that many of Glamorgan's players were past their best, and in 1923, when they defeated the West Indies at Cardiff, it was 45-year-old Jimmy Stone who scored the match-winning innings. A few homegrown youngsters did emerge during the 1920s, such as Morris Turnbull from Cardiff, Di Davis from Llanelli, Cyril Walters from Neath, and Emrys Davis, a talented all-rounder from Llanelli. Midway through the 1928 season, Walters left the club and moved to Worcestershire. His departure meant that the club had even fewer Welshmen playing for them, and this, coupled with their lack of success, meant that the home games at Cardiff and Swansea were poorly attended. So, in a bid to boost attendances, Glamorgan played at Pontypridd in 1926. A large crowd turned up, and Anisanghara Park was allocated an annual fixture. <laughs> 